what's up so i'm starting a new vlog y'all and i am back for my little vacation so it was really nice y'all i actually went with my boyfriend to meet his family in panama that's actually where his family is from um so i got to meet his aunts his uncles his cousin and his um abuelita grandmother i got to meet her and we just had a great time y'all in panama it was a very different experience and the first night we didn't have water y'all so that was a little shock for me but i made it overall um and i'll be posting that vlog very soon i'm not sure if y'all gonna see that vlog first or if y'all gonna see this vlog i'm not sure but just know that i'm back and also y'all my sewing made it y'all it didn't do too bad my hair did not throw up like i thought it would because i have a whole bunch of leave out and it's pretty hot in panama but my sewing made it and when i got home i actually washed my sewing and it came out flawless y'all i sat under the dryer use my blow dryer flexi rods flat iron girl and it's back in action okay so right now today is december 23rd and now i'm about to go to brunch with my mom my aunts my cousins and yeah we're just gonna have a good time my cousin is here from dallas so it should be very fun and my mom has on her wig today who who is she tell my business. who is she uh yo i told her i'm like once you join this wig game like it's a wrap it's over period how do you like it so far mother Tell my business. Girl, weave ain't no business. Everybody know who went weave, who not went weave, girl. But anywho, so yeah, yeah. So we're about to have a good time. Um, and then we have to do some last minute. Well, not really Christmas shopping. We kind of did that yesterday. But today I still need to go like in gift bags and get stuff from like the Dollar Tree um and stuff like that, just to wrap up gifts and just pretty much finish up everything. But last night, y'all, I was wrapping gifts, okay? And my little nephew, they probably gonna talk about me because y'all the way I wrap some of them presents we'll talk about that later but um yeah so that's pretty much it though y'all i'm glad to be done with my christmas shopping i'm glad to be able to just show with family now so we're probably gonna just hang out today and go to my aunt's house tonight and watch the best man um i think it's like a new series that they have going on and there's one thing i want to tell y'all i want another instagram competition y'all so they picked four winners for the tgin and amazon prime video sweepstakes and i actually won that sweepstakes and it was for the new show on amazon prime which is called riches so i'll show you guys on um, my box once i get it in but i want like a hundred dollar amazon gift card i want some tgin products and i think a few other prizes um from the show so i'm going to show you guys my box it's supposed to be arriving tomorrow by 9 o'clock p.m so we're going to see if it actually comes in a time but yeah so that's pretty much all i have to say right now i'm about to go hang on my family have a mimosa have some brunch and we merry ready christmas yes y'all merry christmas but like i said i'll definitely be vlogging tomorrow for new year's i mean not new year's eve for christmas eve and for christmas and yeah i'm just excited y'all i love you my see y'all in church see Christmas shopping and everything putting everything in bags so I'm so excited but look what I found y'all and I know I'm very childish for this y'all but check this out to Taylor from Santa I don't know what that can be y'all but I just found a gift and I think my mama tried to trick me because yesterday when we was in the store she told me to pick out my present and I picked out this like blow dryer thing but then I just found that present so she probably already had me a present but that was really sweet of her so yeah y'all so we're pretty much just straightening up everything and separating gifts and everything and yeah that's pretty much it for right now it's freezing outside so we're kind of just chilling all right mom so what is that brahmin it's a brahmin y'all so she wanted a brahmin wallet for christmas she got her gift early i don't know why i didn't wrap it up for her but move your little hand over the brahmin thing girl yeah y'all so she got her brahmin wallet to match her purse so do you like it yes love it. do you want to love me or what? X trippers, new killers, shot, tell them, this on Thunder, on my mama, made up Thomas, do you want to not be your money? Do you want to not be your money? Tell them this, did he miss? Do you want to not be your money? Guys, what's up? 
up. So today is Christmas Eve, y'all, and I'm about to go to church with my fan necklace from Shein. These earrings are from Shein, and then I also have my JBW watch um, that also came with this bracelet. So as y'all can see, it looks really good with like a black turtleneck. I just cannot wait to do a full review for you guys on this watch. But um, I'm just pretty much wearing this and some pants that I got from Fashion Nova, just some plain black pants. And then I have like this oversized green blazer from Shein. Um, and yeah, and I also do have this little ring from Shein as well. So that's pretty much what I'll be wearing to church with my family. My hair came out pretty good. Um, I put two flexi rods on the actual weave. So one on this side and one on that side. And then I just pin curled my leave out in the front and I pin curled that side as well. And this is pretty much how it came out. So not too bad, y'all. I'm really loving this like sewing look. It looks so natural, it looks so good. Um, so yeah, so I just need to put me on some mascara and then um, I'll pretty much be ready to go. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this um, Maybelline Lash Sensa Tiono uh, Mascara. And this is the Sky High and it's really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much what we're doing tonight, going to church. And then after that, uh, my family is going to make what we call party foods, um, you know, like meatballs, sandwiches, uh, stuff like that. So we're going to have that kind of after church. And then we're also going to be playing a few games and also doing um, the white elephant game where you do like gift exchange. So me and my aunts and um, my cousins are going to play that game. So we kind of did that this year. Instead of like buying a single individual gift for everybody, the adults just kind of was like, let's just play White Elephant. Right. But of course the kids, we still bought gifts for like all the kids, the little cousins. But um, so yeah, so I think that'll be really, really, really fun. Um, and yeah, and that'll pretty much be it for tonight. I didn't really vlog much today because I didn't really do much today, y'all. Last night we had so much fun at my aunt's house. I know you guys probably just saw that clip before, but we had a lot of fun, okay? And there's a lot of space at my aunt's house. So we was like turning up on the first floor. Then we was turning up on the second floor. It was just so fun. Um, and we even did the Beyonce challenge, the Cuffit challenge. So if you guys have not seen it, I'll leave the link down below so you guys can go ahead and click it. And I'll also leave it right here. So you guys can kind of see us doing the challenge with y'all. We were lit, we had fun, we had wine. And we had some other kind of little um, strawberry margarita drink. We just had a blast, okay? Uh, uh, so we did that kind of last night. So today, y'all, it was just like a chill day. Like I literally got up, like I did nothing. Then I took a nap and before I knew it, it was time to get ready for church because we have church at like 6 p.m. And it's already um, like 5.15. So yeah, we're about to leave here um, in the next couple of minutes. But so far, my holiday weekend has been going really good tomorrow. Uh, probably going to go to my uncle's house and my aunt's house, I think, as well. Um, and y'all should be seeing Bay tomorrow. Bay's in town and uh, we're going to be celebrating Christmas together tomorrow. So y'all are going to see him um, in the vlog. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just want to come say hello. I hope everyone is having a happy holidays and I'll see you guys later. I might just vlog just a little bit being with my family later. And then, of course, I'll be vlogging for tomorrow for Christmas. This is literally what I wanted. A foot bath. So like when I don't feel like going to the nail shop, I can do my own pedicures and like just relax every now and then. I love it. So this was the other thing that she got me, which is an Uptown Hair Blow Dryer Brush Trio. So you can like straighten your hair, you can add volume or you can like style. And I thought this was pretty cool. I saw this at TJ Maxx and I was like, I want this. And now that I have my little sewing in, you know, this gives your hair like more volume. So yeah, so that's pretty much the two gifts that I got. So far. In the box. Wait, this way, this way, this way.
morning what's up today is tuesday december 27th and i'm still off work y'all i took some more days off this week and i will be returning back to work on thursday and then i'll be off again friday and monday because of the new year holiday so i have just been pretty much enjoying this little vacation that i had y'all and then yesterday i was also off and my mom was off as well and then we're both off again today um so i'll probably show you guys if we decide to get into anything today um i did want to go see the new whitney houston movie but i'm not sure if we're going to do that um but i'm for sure going to show you guys that giveaway that i want on instagram i want to show you guys that prize um i should be getting that prize hey today i'm just having this like influencer content creator little moment so I don't know if you guys have ever used a video editor in Sarfall, like the different lighting and stuff. I'm sitting with my window open, but um, I don't know if you guys have ever used like a video editor to do like any work for you. But so basically for the Panama trip that I went on, I sent all of my footage over to an editor. So right now I'm kind of in that stage of getting my video edited by someone. And also, you know, I have to send her back revisions, things that I don't like, things that needs to be changed. Um, and I think this is my first time having someone edit like a full video of mine and I'm like comparing their work to my work. I'm like, man, I could have did this better. Like I could have did this myself, you know, but I'm trying to get into the habit of like sometimes letting someone go ahead and help me out, you know, with my channel, with my social media stuff. Um, and I really don't mind it, but it's just like some things I'm just like, I just don't like this, but I'm glad like I'm using Fiverr. So like you can send like modifications and changes, um, needed to the person that's editing your video. So that's a good thing. But yeah, I'm just having like a hard time, I guess, really like letting other people do things for my channel. So let me know if you guys have ever been through anything like this. Now I did use um, people on Fiverr before to make me like a YouTube intro before, to make me like a YouTube outro, like just different things like that. Um, I think I got someone to make me an intro maybe like two or three times before, but um, I've never had an issue with like the intro outros, but I've just kind of moved to kind of doing everything myself. You know, like the current intro outro that I have now, I do all of that myself. I do all of my video editing myself. Um, so it's kind of hard to kind of let someone, you know, take over such a big task for your channel. Um, and, and it's just different things I see, you know, with this new editor that I have, you know, like she has a different preset that she uses and the music is different. So I have to kind of let her know my needs um, to make the video how I would want the video to be. But yeah, I was just having a moment this morning. I'm like, oh my God, I just want to continue doing everything myself, you know? But eventually I do want to be able to delegate tasks, but it's hard y'all. It's hard letting somebody like fully take over like your I'm stuff. Know he's talking with his bonnet on, huh? But anyway, <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just really hard for me to, I guess, really like let go and let someone really do something big like this for my channel. But, um, yeah, just having a, a transparent moment right now, drinking my coffee, looking out the window and, um, yeah. And I'm just like thinking about how like, dang, like, do I really ever really want to have a video editor, you know, like full time? Or is this something that I want to do only when I have like um vacation vlogs or stuff like that to put up by having a video editor like edit all of our videos i guess you really have to like learn your editor and they have to kind of like learn you and kind of like what you like and a good example of like video editing that i like would be um diara i don't know if you guys remember the dk4l channel well diara taylor she has her own channel now and i can tell that she has like a video editor that she uses because every video is pretty much the same um, they use like the same text fonts. They use the same kind of like transitions and it just looks very uniformed on her channel. And I feel like if I want to get a video editor, I feel like I would have them pretty much do kind of like all of my videos. So it can all be kind of like the same look on my channel. Um, so yeah, so I don't know y'all. I just don't know how I feel about it, but um, I'm working to get that Panama vlog up for you guys. I had like 40 minutes of footage and she cut it down to almost like 17 minutes, which is really good because I don't like super, super long vlogs unless I'm like really bored. But um, I feel like, you know, 20 minutes is good enough for like a YouTube vlog. 20 to 25 minutes is pretty much good for me. Um, but yeah, so I'm currently working with her to get that vlog up. But I just wanted to come on here and just have like a transparent moment because I'm definitely like going through it right now. Just being that my content is in someone else's hands, like that's crazy. And I know like I'm nowhere near close to um, having or needing a virtual assistant. Not at all, y'all. I don't have enough email traffic for that. I don't have enough views. I have enough engagement for that yet. 
um but yeah so that's pretty much all i wanted to come and say if you guys have ever used a video editor let me know down below how do you like it let me know what you use. i want you guys to kind of hear like true like realness and transparency when it comes to content creation like it's not always just easy and just you know like as a content creator like you also try new things and that's so scary and it makes you feel uncomfortable like whenever you just try to do new things you know for your channel but it's always because i want to have the best content for you guys i want you guys to always experience the best on my channel you know and i always want to help you guys in some kind of way um on my channel but yeah so i'm not gonna keep talking y'all ear up that's pretty much all i wanted to come say but that panama vlog is coming up. Alrighty, guys so we have made it to the end of the vlog and i just want to do a quick little haul for you guys so the first thing we're gonna do is see what i got from ulta i went to office today y'all and it was super packed i don't know what's going on maybe everybody off of work and i know the kids out of school but they had a lot of people in ulta y'all so i didn't even bother vlogging while I was in there, but I specifically went in there because I wanted to try out the Donna's products. If you guys follow Tabitha Brown, then you guys know that her hairline just released and alters all across the nation. So I decided to get the Sweet Potato Pie Extra Creamy Moisturizing Shampoo. And then I also got the Donna's Recipe Sweet Potato Pie Extra Creamy Moisturizing Conditioner. Boom. And the last product I got is Adonis Recipe Strength Hair All. And all of these products, again, are by Tabitha Brown. And they had my girl in the back of the store, y'all. I had to ask somebody. I'm like, where is Donna's Recipe? Because I did not see her anywhere in the store. So I'm not happy about that, um, Alta. But yeah, y'all, she was like way in the back. And then they had her products like facing the back wall. I was just like, mm-mm. Absolutely not. I need to put my girl in the front of the store, but I am happy that I finally got my hands on some of her products and I had to make sure that I go and support Tabitha Brown because she's just such a cool person. And then I also want to try some pattern beauty products and I definitely want to make hair content with both of these different brands. And in this little pattern mini stylers kit, I have some curl gel. I also have some strong hold gel. And then let's see, I have some styling cream and I also have some hydrating mist. So I think this will be really good when I want to do like a quick wash and go or maybe like a quick puff style, something like that. But I'll definitely be using this also. So yeah, I'm also supporting Tracy Ellis Ross. So shout out to Pattern as well. Alrighty, now I'm going to quickly show you guys what I got from Whole Foods today. So I got these birthday cake sandwich creams. Boom, y'all. These are so good. And I believe this is the Whole Foods brand. But these little cookies are really, really good to snack on. And then, of course, I got my fresh juices. As always, y'all, if you buy four of these fresh juices, you actually get like $4 off. Um, but this is the 100% cold fresh juices. And this one is Citrus Refresh. And this one has oranges, apples, grapefruit, ginger, and lemons. And I think I got two like that. Yeah, I got two of those. And then I also got the green lemonade. And this one has apples, cucumber, spinach, kale, and lemons. Boom. And then I got the Autumn Harvest, which has apples, cranberries, and beets. Boom, so those are my four. And let me show y'all my favorite flavor. So they didn't have the small ones today in my favorite flavor, so I got the bigger one, but this is a Tropical Delight. And this one has apples, mango, pineapple, oranges, grapes, and ginger in it. Y'all, and these are so good. And just a little fun fact, if you guys have never tried uh, fresh pressed juices, I definitely recommend you try Whole Foods one because they're just so tasty. But also, y'all, the shelf life on these, like they last up to like, I don't know, three, four weeks. Um, so these that I got, they don't expire till like this one, January 15th, and all the other ones that I got, January 18th. So that's literally like almost an entire month away. Um, yeah, so they have a very long shelf life. So definitely recommend getting some of those. And then I also got this organic tropical blend Italian soda and this just look good y'all. So, you know, it's one of those products where it's like, dang, I'm thirsty, you know? So I definitely decided to go ahead and pick this one up. And I also got some lemon so me and my mom can make our lemon water so we can detox for the new and year. And I also got the all-in-one hemp peppermint pure Castile bar soap. I definitely want to try this out. Um, Dr. Bronner's, they have some really good soap, so I can't wait to try this and one. The last thing I got from Whole Foods, y'all, are these poppy drinks. Now, I've seen a lot of influencers and content creators talk about these drinks, and everybody's saying they're just so good. So I'm about to see what they're hitting for. But I pretty much paid these, I think, like either $2.59 or $2.89 for one can. Um, so I got one strawberry lemon, and then I got one raspberry rose. 
So I'm very excited to drink these, y'all. And also, these are like prebiotic sodas. So they are really good for like a healthy gut in your gut health. So, yep, can't wait to try these. So that's pretty much all I got today um, at Ulta Beauty and also at Whole Foods. I want to give a quick shout out to Amazon Prime Video and also TGIN. I was one of the four winners from their um, Riches Sweepstakes, if you guys have not heard. Riches is a new show that was just released on Amazon Prime Video. So make sure you guys go and check that out. So I did win the sweepstakes. So I won a whole bunch of y'all TGIN products. And then I also got a $100 Amazon gift card. So shout out to them uh, for sending me this. I will definitely be checking out Riches. And I just want to shout out some of the products that TGIN has. Um, so the TGIN Honey Whip Hydrating Mousse they sent me. They also sent me the Triple Moisture Replenishing Conditioner, y'all. They sent me the Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. They sent me the Quench 3-in-1 Co-Wash Conditioner. They sent me the Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In. I mean, literally, y'all, like a whole box of products right here, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give your girl a huge like and also subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have had a great holiday with your family, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As you did not do, start to move, start to move, make you